It is rather difficult to imagine modern construction and the refurbishing of residential buildings without the installation of metal plastic windows. They are very much superior in many ways in comparison to the usual classic wooden windows, and they have firmly established their place in people's everyday life. However, the creation of a single metal plastic window is quite a laborious and time-consuming process. Today in the program, Made in Ukraine, we will tell you exactly how these windows are made. The production of metal plastic windows includes several stages. Among them are profile cutting, technological processing, drilling drainage holes and the installation of a steel amplifier which is fixed with screws, welding, one of the main elements of this working cycle, cleaning the welded profile, and then finally the window assembly and glazing. This machine swallows the workpiece and then cuts it into size according to the cutting pattern generated by a special production control software program. This piece of equipment is used to cut a number of different types of profiles, frames, sashes, imposts, jumpers, by means of which the windows are divided into parts. Then the workpiece is sent to the machining centers that create the necessary holes according to the blueprint. The main profiles come in several sizes. The most common profiles have a length of 6.5 meters. This is extremely convenient in terms of cut optimization. A special program that determines in what order the work pieces are cut and which of them will go first and last is installed in the equipment. Basically, this program does everything possible to minimize the technological waste and make the entire production process economical. This is a printer that makes labels containing the necessary information about the given product. Typically, this label contains specifications of the dimensions of the workpiece, its position in the window, and the functions that it must perform. This can often be a barcode, which an operator can read in the further stages of production using a barcode reader, which enters the data into the machine. It can also be graphic information that allows a machine operator to orient himself. Each plane on this trolley corresponds to one window. As a result, there must be four frame preparations or four templates of the frame. This is done in order that the operator who will execute the subsequent welding of the profiles can make the exact work pieces that are required. The cutting of the steel reinforcing mullions is performed in parallel with cutting the profile with only a slight outrun. When the workpieces go to the screwdriver, the corresponding steel workpieces will have already been prepared. For cutting steel reinforcement mullions, a bandsaw is used to slowly cut the whole bay of mullions at once with the application of a special lubricant. The entire cycle of the cutting process takes no more than 10 minutes. These reinforcing mullions have a specific configuration which corresponds to the profile in which they will be installed. As a rule, reinforcing mullions for window frame preparation may differ from the reinforcing profile of the leaf workpiece. After the PVC profile and the steel profile have been cut and these work pieces are put together with the help of an automatic screwdriver, the steel reinforcing mullions are adjusted to the PVC profile. In order to load the PVC profile reliably and transfer it to steel, a step of 250 millimeters is set. This machine is equipped with a magazine for automatic feeding of screws and has a limitation in the depth of feed, which does not allow the screw to go under the profile or rotate so that the fixing does not occur. This special machining center drills the necessary holes into the workpieces. After installing the steel profile, the workpiece is sent down the production line for further processing. Drainage holes are provided for the drainage of condensate and rainwater, and holes for impost installation are also bored. Special markings for the installation of various fittings can also be done here. After all of the workpieces are ready, it's time to weld. 
This enterprise uses a high-performance forehead welding machine which provides ideal geometry with a margin of error of no more than one-tenth of one millimeter. This is important because the technological holes have already been bored. Moreover, the geometry of the product should not suffer during the welding process. In one stroke, the whole frame or whole leaf is welded. Welding is performed at a temperature of 250 degrees. During the welding cycle, each side of the profile is melted down by 3 millimeters. Welding mirrors with a temperature of 250 degrees are wrapped with a special Teflon film. This process ensures the preservation of the profile and protects it from baking or sticking. After welding, the workpiece goes to the cooling station. There, it takes about one and a half minutes to stand before it is swept. During welding, the melted material is squeezed out onto the surface, which is why cleaning the workpiece is absolutely imperative. For this purpose, a special machine with numerical software control is used. It contains a contour of the profile. The machine bypasses this contour, gently cleaning all of the melted parts. After the workpieces are welded and cleaned, it's time to install functional partitions that divide the window into separate parts, deaf and open. This stage of the production process is difficult to automate, so here the work is mostly performed manually. To ensure the integrity of the individual sections so that moisture does not flow into the def and does not fall into the windowsill, silicone is applied. After all of the necessary jumpers in the frames and sashes are installed, it's time to install special sealing gums. They are made of high quality rubber and have elasticity not only in the summer months but also at very low temperatures. This ensures the reliable air tightness of the window. Special templates allow you to mark the location of special fittings. The processing center could also do the marking, but then the performance level would dramatically fall. Therefore, marking is done manually on a template. This process in professional jargon is called a wetting. This is the meeting of the sash with the frame. The leaf is hung on the frame and the product is sent for glazing. Double glazed windows are installed on special support and spacer pads. These stickers on double glazed windows with symbols familiar to us according to the Mendeley of periodic table indicate that the internal space between the glass panes is filled with inert argon gas which ensures the glass window unit additional insulating properties. After the double glazed windows are installed and spread out, a special profile needs to be installed. This is called a glazing bead. It reliably fixes the double glazed window so that it does not fall out during its functioning. It is installed with a non-inertia hammer which does not damage the design of the window during its functioning. The glazing molding cutting machine cuts two workpieces at a time, and as a rule, they are all the same size in pairs. At the production in the deaf parts, the glazing molding process is not completely blocked. This is done especially to ensure that the installer on site can, if necessary, easily remove it, remove the glass unit, mount the window and then carefully install the glass unit back into the window frame after it is mounted. After these operations and checking the window for functionality, the window is sent to the installation site either for a large building project or in a private home or apartment.